Should you combine finances and marriage? All right, we're not going to sugarcoat anything. We're not going to beat around the bush and have you wait for seven, eight minutes to get the answer. Right. We believe, yes, Mm -hmm. you should combine finances and marriages. We're not talking about relationships. We're not talking about boyfriend, girlfriend. We're Mm -hmm. strictly talking about marriages. And this is our own personal preference. We're not financial advisors. This is just just, what works for us. Yeah, this is just our opinion. So. Mm Don't shoot the messenger. (laughs) And do what works for your relationship. But we are just saying why we believe it is important and kind of, you know, giving you guys some pros of, you know, combining finances in a relationship or in a marriage. In In a marriage. Yes. And I think the main reason, I think we both believe this, is that it really adds the unity to your marriage. And I think that's the number one reason why it's important to combine your finances Mm -hmm. because it just brings that togetherness Mm -hmm. to have one common goal and to have the transparency but we're going to get into the transparency Mm -hmm. a little bit later but we can go into our personal story and i feel like before we got married Mm -hmm. our thinking around us combining finances or working together as a team Mm -hmm. when it comes to finances were not what it was in marriage Oh, yeah, of course. And like we we actually discussed that in um, another video. So mm -hmm. you guys stick around for that. But we discussed how our money mindsets and relationship when it came to finances were so different. And so um, I think it is very important to be on the same page, especially in a marriage. And as you said, it adds that transparency. I mean, once you combine your finances it adds that step of, a, of us being together or you being one with your partner. And also, too, there are no secrets, you know? And I think you hit the key word, mm-hmm. one. Yeah. Being one. Mm-hmm. Because before marriage, when your boyfriend, girlfriend, or fiancés, you guys are still separate. Yeah. You, you might be in a, a relationship like we were for many years, mm-hmm. but you guys are still separate. Yeah. But when you get into a marriage, now you are truly one. Mm-hmm. Two have become one. And that's what we want to treat our financial picture as well. We want yeah. to, we want to have that align with that two being one mm-hmm. as well. Since finances are such a huge part of being an adult, of yeah. being in the real world, why should it not be a part of right that unity right. of a marriage yeah, and it's one of those things that, get, that can necessarily um make or break a marriage right. especially right. if there isn't transparency and you know people aren't your partner isn't finding out things until much later on and sometimes it's to a point where it's already spiraled out of control so it's very good to in our opinion to combine finances have that openness with your partner and that way if there's some areas where you do lack financially or it may not be your your strong suit your partner can help you with that amen Um, when it comes to budgeting or when it comes to saving for a goal when it comes to um how to just move your money around you know preparing for um retirement and saving for a 401k if that isn't maybe that's an area of weakness for you and your partner does really well with that it's a great time to share your finances so your partner can help you build because at the end of the day we're better together than having different financial mindsets or as you said, um, having a different picture when it comes to finances. So we think it's, we think it's very important. Another thing that I was going to say before we get to the next point is that I believe, and I'm sure you are on the same page with me on this, that when it comes to sharing finances and combining your finances, that it's something that should start while you're engaged. Mm. When you're engaged, yes, you are still two, two different people, but the point of like being engaged is preparing for marriage. And so that is the perfect time. That's a, yeah. That's a really good point. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. I think you really are hitting it on the head with everything that you're saying because, yeah, mm-hmm. engagement is that next step from, mm-hmm. you know, boyfriend, girlfriend, just yeah. dating. Mm-hmm. So that next step should be that preparation that's necessary to take on Mm -hmm. that ultimate step of marriage. And yes, we definitely started preparing Mm -hmm. in in the engagement and it took a whole nother life. Yeah. And we just leveled up to another level as far as being 
in tune with yeah. our finances yeah. and, and really connecting and having that transparency yeah. between our mm-hmm. accounts and mm-hmm. everything like that, we really leveled up in yeah. marriage. And I really love that about mm-hmm. how we have taken this journey from over 11 years mm-hmm. and each year we continue to find out and, and, and build within our relationship and build within our financial picture and our yeah. financial strength. Yeah. And that is so beautiful. But another thing too, like when you enter marriage, I think the beautiful thing about it too, at least is something that happened with us is that once we knew that we were one, not to say that we weren't one before we didn't want to marry each other or anything like that, but your mindset does change when you become married. Like you really start moving as a unit and as one where we're thinking about the betterment of each other. Like it's no longer just about me and it's no longer just about Shane. It's about us together. And so when we were married, I felt felt like it was much easier for us to come together with our finances. When we, when we were married, Oh, I mean, (laughs) (laughs) after, after we, after we got married, I Uh, felt like it was so much easier for us to have the conversations about like finances and come together with combining our finances because our mindset was so connected. Yeah. Yeah. And so it it was actually enjoy. It was something that we enjoyed too, because it felt like, okay, we are entering into another chapter of our relationship that's actually helping us draw closer to each other. And yeah, you're still going to have, you know, don't get me wrong. You're still going to have your moments where you go back and forth and like having to make decisions on like purchases and things like that. But being able to come together, it adds that quality time. Um, but it, it, it draws you in closer to your to your partner as well. So everything that you are saying, this next point exemplifies everything. Okay. What I used to say before marriage was my net worth. Mm. When I would talk about money or in, and things like that. And mm-hmm. then when I would talk about our car, I would say my car. Yeah. And now that we have downsized to one car, mm-hmm. it's now our car. Our car. And yeah. once marriage happened, it wasn't just my net worth and talking about where I am at financially. It's where we are at financially. Yeah. And our net worth. I yeah. think that subtle difference makes all the all the difference. It makes all the difference. And, yeah. Just changing that verbiage. Mm-hmm. And I think it just adds so much respect and so much value on the actual marriage. Mm-hmm. And it just builds so much trust for yeah. a partner like uh, in, in our case. I don't ever want you to think that, oh, just because you don't have as much money as I do, that mm-hmm. you're not, we're not on the same page. Right. No, we are together now. So right. everything I have, you have. Right. And everything you have, I have. Exactly. And that is the beautiful thing about marriage because two, now are one. Yep. And to add to that, I think um, a beautiful thing about combining finances is, is that it allows you and your partner to achieve common financial goals. Right, so right. if you all are living in an apartment, but you want to own a home, that's something that you can work towards together to save up for that home. Mm. Or if you want to purchase mm. a, a new car, if you want to save up for a dream trip, if you know that you may want to retire early. And the beautiful thing is I really think that helps lift each other up and help mm-hmm. keep both people inspired yeah because at the end of the day that individual goal that you had of putting a down payment on a house yeah or reaching a hundred thousand dollars or a million dollars that individual goal that you have now is a joint goal yeah and now you guys can both work on the same goal yeah and it just stimulates the relationship stimulates yeah. your mind to say, mm-hmm. okay, now this is not just a soul goal. This yeah. is a, this is a goal for both of us. Yeah. And, and it's like, you don't have to do it alone. You now have someone, you have a partner that can help you or you guys are helping each other achieve that goal that much faster. And it's something that you're doing together, which will strengthen it at more, like you said, it'll stimulate the relationship and help it just grow more by doing it together. Right. Mm-hmm. So, Every relationship is different. Every relationship is not going to have the same views as us. And right. like I said, this is just our viewpoint. Yeah. This works for us. Mm-hmm. But we like that kind of relationship now that mm-hmm. we're in marriage, mm-hmm. that everything that is mine is yours. And yep. everything that's yours is mine. Mm-hmm. And us working together in that type of way. Yeah brings that unity, brings that strength, brings yep. that trust, yeah. brings the respect mm-hmm. and just 
brings as that transparency. Transparency. Mm-hmm, it brings mm-hmm. all of that to helps lift each other up to throughout the, the process mm-hmm. and the marriage. And I think that is the most beautiful thing. Yeah. And yeah, yeah I think just our take on it. Yep, it's just our take. And um, we again, we always say this, but we love to get feedback from you guys. If you feel comfortable sharing some some stories about uh, uh, some great pros that worked for you all, combining your finances. Drop a comment below. Let us know. Or if you have any uh, questions on, on what we did or want to have, you know, go more in depth, definitely let us know. We'd be happy to chat with you all about it. Um, and yeah, just continue to follow us, uh, like this video, comment, share it with your friends and family. And again, my name is Jen. And I'm Shane. Enjoy the journey.